So men don't have a problem coming in when it's testosterone because that strikes at their core. Yeah. If you tell them it's low, you tell them two things, they'll always remember it. I have a low testosterone and my testicles are small. They'll always, always remember those two things. So I never say those things too much because it, uh, it's imprinted in their minds after that. But, but these are people who, who really get no care, who think they're immortal, who really only get medical care when their life is threatened or they're in pain. So the only way to get them in the office is infertility because their wife or partner says, get in or sexual health issues if they're not performing well, or if they're wondering if their sex drive's going down. So they'll listen when it comes to sexual health, but I think doctors, we need to view th these guys as sexual health is not an orbiting planet around overall health that may or may not relate to it. It is indeed part of their health. So when you evaluate sexual health issues, erections, sex drive, energy, etc., um, you really need to evaluate their health. So you do the cholesterol profile, the A1C, you do the things that endocrinologists do and good doctors do because that's actually, you're going to find things. And if you look at their sleep, you're going to find things. And if you, if you look at the testosterone, you may or may not find things. But literally, most of those mechanisms in the planetary view, the metabolic ones, the hormone, they typically lower testosterone levels. So extreme athletes have low testosterone levels. People who are um, flying a half a million miles a year have low testosterone levels because the pineal stress. Stress, we're cavemen, right? And stress comes in many forms, but we're running from woolly mammoths, and when you're running from a woolly mammoth by whatever mechanism, you basically have a low testosterone. And so there's natural ways to get it up which don't involve testosterone replacement and permanent decisions that may affect fertility in their future, you know, the future health. So the goal of this lecture was to teach endocrinologists at the meeting the basics of management of young men, which is, you know, don't make them come in three times, don't get too many blood draws, explain what you're doing and keep it as natural as you can because a lot of men simply have a lot of stress, their testosterone falls, and then six months from now they may not, and their testosterone will be normal. So do you put them on a permanent replacement therapy that commits them to that, or do you just experiment a little and show them that, you know, your testosterone is normal now and you're still having problems with energy and sex drive, maybe it's not testosterone, let's stop it and look at other parts of your life, and then you turn their focus on the stressors and you fix those and guess what, they live longer.